there's so much going on. How do we get more done in less time without being overwhelmed or full of stress? Uh, good question, Zach. Uh, it's, a, it's a question that uh, has been you know, out there for many, many years. Uh, and what, a, what time management really comes down to is effective planning and then following that, following that plan. What I find is when I, when I meet with my, my participants and I meet with all my participants, say, after we get started with a program and I come and visit with them, uh, and I say, tell, show me your world, show me your typical day. And the first thing they, they do is they tell me, well, the first thing I do is I look at my email and I say, stop doing that. Don't, don't do that because that, that, that sucks you into yesterday. And, uh, and it, you know, you get bogged down in, into that uh, because you have so, so many emails and it really takes part in your day. But you have to have a plan, including when you're going to look at email. So blocks of time of when you're going to uh, work on what we call high payoff activities is very, very important. And uh, what, what, what's happened too, and it's always happened in the past, is that when fax machines first came out, everybody then started sending faxes like crazy and having to respond to them. They overused that technology. And then when voice mail was invented, people used that technology and overused it to the point where they had to respond to all these voicemails. And the same thing happened with emails. People got overwhelmed with emails, and now people are overwhelmed with Zoom meetings, one after another after another. And for years and years and years, we've been saying you can't get what you have to do is you have to manage the technology, not let the technology manage you. That's a behavioral issue. OK, technology can be very beneficial, but it can also when just like any strength used too much can become a weakness mm -hmm. if you rely on it too much. So it's taking control of yourself and, and deciding what I'm going to do in terms of my high payoff activities, plan it out and following that plan. Now, does that mean that certain emergencies come up that might take you off that plan? Sure, a true emergency will. But if you have a plan, a documented plan, you know where you got off of it and you can get back on again versus having to think, what am I supposed to do next? Uh, it is simple, but it's not easy, <laughs> okay? Uh, it takes some discipline.